don't turn that so bad. Name the songs just as I am. songs. I live in an area of the country that's called the Bible Belt. In the United States, it runs from Kentucky down through Mississippi, and churches are everywhere. I mean, you can stand in front of one church, throw a rock, hit another one. Uh, I ain't kidding. They're that close, and there's thousands of them everywhere, and uh, unfortunately, they're not full. <laughs> you know, you got little churches that have 20 members, and you got big old churches that got thousands of members. It just comes and goes, but the point I'm trying to make is, is they don't make them like that anymore. Nowadays, they do some music called worship music in a lot of the churches around here. Now, I'm not talking about the kind of music where they've taken rock and roll and, and uh, heavy metal and stuff and tried to get young people to come to, to church co and by converting music around. I understand all that, but they've got a type of music out there called worship music. And what's happening is people are forgetting about these old gospel songs like this that, that, that have a whole lot of heart and meaning to them. And uh, I grew up with them. I grew up with people playing them. And I love it. I do. I love there, there, there's so many old groups out there that the old gospel groups I love listening to, and they do like quartet, like barbershop quartet, uh, quartet singing, except it's with gospel music. And uh, I think people are missing out. I think people are missing out big time on it. But if you don't know by now, <laughs> we're doing Amazing Grace uh, this week on the Daily Ukulele Adventure. Uh, it's page 21, and uh, I didn't sing it because it's it's a little too deep for me, um, uh, a little too low for me. Um, Yes, it's a little too deep. I didn't grasp its meaning. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, all those other little songs in there, I'll Fly Away, uh, Mansion Over the Hilltop, uh, Old Rugged Cross. My grandma, God, she loved Old Rugged Cross. She used to say it all the time. She'd play, please, please play Old Rugged Cross for me. And uh, it's one of those things that's embedded in my brain. I, I, I'm pretty much sure you could wake me out of a dead sleep, hand me something, and I'd play it. Um, I love those songs, uh, and this one particular one, too. Uh, the one that always throws me, though, will the circle be unbroken? If you actually listen to the words of the song, it's, honest to God, the most depressing song you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> but they play it in a, a bluegrass manner, so they speed it up, and, and I don't know that people really listen to it. <laughs> I mean, it's about a boy whose mom's died, and he's dragging behind the, 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 the hearse, and he doesn't want to let go, and, and I don't blame him. <laughs> Who does? <laughs> it's your mama. <laughs> But, I mean, it's a horrible song. I mean, if you, if you played it slow, you know, I'm standing by the window, you know, I was standing by my window on a cold and cloudy day when I saw that 
hearse come rolling for to take my mama away. Now, I can understand there used to be a little program around here called the Beverly Hillbillies. I'm sure everybody's seen it. But Granny would always say, don't play that one. That one always makes me cry. Well, if you listen to the words of that song, my God, you'd cry your eyes out. <laughs> I know, I've rambled on here almost nine minutes now. I can see it. Some of it's music, I know, but anyway, <laughs> we're doing Amazing Grace this week, and I'm going to play it like it is in the book, and then I'm going to come back in a little bit, and I'm going to I'm gonna uh, probably put a capo on it. And I know you purists out there with you ukulele guys, you don't like me using a capo. Uh, but I mean, I could play it in a different key, but I like using a capo. <laughs> I'm sorry out there, you purist ukulele guys. <laughs> I like a capo. It's 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 easy, and I can just throw it up a couple frets, get in the key I can sing in, and have some fun with it, and not have to retune my instrument. Or I don't have to sit here and figure out, take the time to figure out another key. Now I can play it in another key because I've got plenty of them I can choose from, but uh, I like it that way because I'm still making the same general finger patterns, and people can see that I'm still playing the same thing on here. So, anyway, uh, next time you see me or hear me, we'll be going to the music. Now let me tell you something. Music is straightforward. Well, we won't be there a minute because there's nothing to it. It's like what? It's it's five chords. They're all the basic ukulele chords, and uh, it's not nothing nothing hard. The music itself is just a few bars of repetitiveness. That's it. Actually, I'm almost may not go to music because <laughs> it's just there's nothing. I mean, let's just do this, shall we? Let's do something. Let let me do this real quick, okay? The music. If you look down. Down at the music, okay, not the top of my hat. <laughs> um, it's basically C, let me do this. It's C, C7, F, C, A minor, G7, and C, and it keeps repeating itself. That's all it is. I mean, at the moment, we don't really need the music. I mean, you've got the other verses you could learn out there, the additional lyrics and stuff, and uh, they're all pretty cool, too. But um, that was just kind of demeaning for the song. They're very good lyrics. <laughs> they're very deep rooted in spiritualness lyrics. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I know y'all don't know when to take me serious. I know. <laughs> but anyway, that's all it is. I mean, it's just that repetitiveness. Now, uh, your first singing note, it shows you it's the, it's the second string and it's the third fret. So, I mean, second string, third fret. Uh, I look like a bullfrog, didn't I? Uh, Looking for a fly. <laughs> anyway, okay, sorry. But, look at this. And it's in 3 4 time. It's like a waltz. So, your first note, singing note, uh, don't count that as part of the three parts of your beat between the measures. So it's uh, 1, 2, 3, change your note, C7. Then F, then C, then A minor. Actually, I skipped out three whole beats right there. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm playing around. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's start over real quick. All right. One, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two.
And see, she's seven, then F, then there's C. She's seven. Let's speed up a little bit. Won't you? One more time, that's the end of it. We'll speed up. One, two, three, one, two, three. That wasn't so bad, was it? It's a nice little song. It, I mean, it really is, and it's 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 really uh, it's really easy to play. So that's one of the reasons why it's so appealing uh, for me. I mean, I don't have to put any thought to it when I'm actually learning the song. I can just strum it and start singing it. Um, I do it in a different key. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you the key I do it in. I'm gonna post another video after this. I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, wrap this one up and and uh, tell everybody. I, I hope you're having a wonderful week. Hope you're having a great week. And uh, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm going to do two or three videos. I'm not working today. I'm at home uh, uh, having a little fun, having a little day off, and had some time I had to use. So I'm having a ball, me and the dog. <laughs> if you notice over my shoulder here, that door's open. The dog's been running in and out all morning. It's about, I think it's about 45 out there, 45 degrees, and she's having a ball. Right now she's, uh, look here. You see her? She's knotted up in a ball on the bed, <laughs> which is just fine, which is just fine. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you again. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to add my capo, and I'm going to do a little different jazzed up version, and uh, it'll be posted right after this one. So thank you all very much. Hope you all having a wonderful week. Y'all be good. <laughs> Bye.